Concerns keep growing about the dangers of vaping. Even the president is considering a ban on flavored e-cigarettes across the country. He says they target kids. We've been following this story for months now. And you've seen the numbers. The CDC says more than 450 people have developed severe illnesses linked to vaping. Three of them right here in Virginia. Another six people have died. And health officials can't pinpoint the cause. Tonight, we're hearing the other side of it. 13 News Now reporter Adriana DeAlba spoke with local vape shop owners. They say the ban could put them out of business. They also argue that banning flavored e-cigarettes would create a black market for these products and could cause some vapors to go back to smoking cigarettes. That's one side, but then there's this. The FDA surveyed young people about why they use e-cigarettes. More than 80% of them said it's because it comes in flavors that they like. Dangerous. President Trump announced the FDA will develop guidelines to remove all e-cigarette flavors from the market, except tobacco. Christopher Ebelain says the ban will hurt his bottom line. He owns e-cig city in Virginia Beach, where flavors account for more than 85% of his sales. It's very strong possibility I might go out of business. Ebelain says vaping helped wean him off of cigarettes. I was smoking like mm, see, I, actually I've been smoking since I was 14. And I was up to like two packs a day smoking and I quit cold turkey the first day I bought a vape. Over at the elusive Clown Factory in Norfolk, vape shop owner Kyle Kleinite is also worried about the ban. We're going to suffer massively. He argues customers coming in want flavors. Strawberry guava jackfruit here, and that's an appeal for adults because they don't want you know, something to taste like tobacco. They don't want to have that craving. Data from the FDA shows from 2017 to 2018, e-cigarette use among high schoolers increased by 78%. The use of flavors also went up. I, I acknowledge that it, teen vaping is a problem, but I think it's on the parents. Until the ban is in place, he'll continue business as usual. Meanwhile, the CDC is investigating hundreds of breathing illnesses reported in people who have vaped. So far, investigators haven't been able to pinpoint a single product or substance common to the illnesses, but many of the cases involve the use of THC in e-cigarettes. Now, if these products are banned, companies could apply for FDA permission to re-enter the market. But in order to win FDA clearance, they would have to prove that these products provide a health benefit. The head of Health and Human Services said it could be weeks or months to implement the ban. Adriana de Alva, 13 News Now.